I think of um, three words when Chris's name comes up, and it's competent, confident, but most of all, compassionate. Christine or Chris Kavner died September 22nd after developing an illness caused by the West Nile virus. But that is far from the only thing there is to know about Kavner. Wherever she went, her heart went to. Chris joined the Impact Austin organization 20 years ago. It's an Austin-based women's collective organization that helps fund nonprofits. Friends and those who are a part of Impact Austin say her heart and soul was in the work of helping others. Her spirit never died. It was just as strong and excited to be a part of the organization. Uh, from day one up, in, up until recently, she was sitting on a grant review committee when she contracted the virus. Chris was also an avid animal lover and a huge supporter of AJK Family Rescue. In 2017, she suffered a heart attack and was fortunate enough to get a heart transplant. After connecting with her donor's family, she formed a bond with them almost immediately. She had an anniversary of the transplant in San Antonio and had, had learned who the donor family was and invited the donor family to this celebration and took a stethoscope and allowed that family to hear their daughter's heart beating in her. I, and to me, that was Chris. Because of the heart transplant, Chris took medication that weakened her immune system. Many people can get bitten by a mosquito carrying West Nile virus and they never know it. But for Chris, with her weakened immune system, that bite was sadly lethal. It's oftentimes that people don't have symptoms. One in five people actually develop symptoms of West Nile virus. While you would think her family would feel like they got dealt an unfair hand, on the contrary, they tell me they are so blessed and grateful to have had her for those extra six years. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.